cricket. The ground staff have done a great job. We're set to go with the first ball. And it'll be a wide. And a very good afternoon to Alan Border so far. Lovely shot. Really nice shot down the ground. I say so far. Shane Watson, Watson obliges. Outside edge. Work for Daryl Tuffy. Will he get there? No, he won't. Can't catch up with it. Just the one slip in place. Probably went through about third. First. That's a better shot. Lovely boundary. Oh, up. Up and high and long. They just stand and they watch it. Oh, straight again. That is a lovely cricket stroke. They're just starting to turn it on here. Straight again. Another beauty. Down towards the short boundary. Not quite long enough. Third man for Franklin. That could be a very nice way to start. I reckon that was a plan from Shane Watson. He would have thought, OK, new bowler. Let's put him under pressure. Ah, oh, that's just such a clever stroke. Away on the onside. He was not going to allow Tuffy to dominate. 57 for no wicket. Nearly seven runs and over. Four more. Well, I thought it was going to be cut off down there, but no, it was hit so well. Ah, oh, that'll be four. Fine leg is up in the ring. Don't bother there. That's uh, a bad line to bowl. The wickets. That was wide, and that was dealt with. Oh, it was dealt with magnificently. Per over. Oh, that's headed for the fence, is it? There's a man lining it up under there. He's got it. Oh, he just didn't hit it, Watson. He just didn't get enough of it. Picked out the longest boundary and one of the best set of hands to boot. Oh, this should be out. This is crazy. This is Ponting. Just built him up. And he's taken a mighty fall down. Oh, that's a great shot. The well, the difficulty involved in getting that ball from that height and that width to that area of the ground, unique. Oh, that's a terrific shot. How easy did he make that look? Brad Haddon. Never seen a straight hit like that. And again, an action repeat. And a result. A big result. So this has turned out to be a very good over of batting. Nicely weighted down the ground. For four, in fact. Gee, he hit that bed and I thought I thought he just chipped it for one. In flight, really good delivery. Oh, that is a great catch. What an absolute ripper from Dan Vittori to get rid of Brad Haddon. Ripper. Oh, that's, this will be out as well. Michael Clark has made it. Absolute blunder. He really has lost patience. It was short from Bond, and Clark could not get on top of it. Well, that's four. That's beaten mid off. Should get there, and it does. Just trickles into the rope. So just got a little bit of width. Mike Hussey and for the Australians. Here's Tuffy. Oh, that's a good shot down the ground. So not the ideal way to start your spell. Well, that's going to be four. Beat the man in the ring. He was in its uh, short, fine leg, and it's beaten that man. Shane Bond it was. It was worth a good short one. And he tries it again. And this has gone in the gap. As well, gap in the crowd at six. Innings. Oh, he's done it again there, and he's gapped that nicely. It was a poor delivery from Southie, to be honest. That's three for four, and Styrus is furious. He gave Hussey width he wasn't giving anyone else. 195 for four. Now that's gone. That's big enough, I think. Just a oh, more word. It wasn't by a huge margin. Neil Broom running round. I'm pretty sure he had designs on it at some stage. Right at the end. Oh, he's launched. He's thrown the switch, and has he found another gap? He has over the top. There's plenty of space there. 
Wow! No batting power play. You have it. And under real pressure now. Oh, it should be out here. Brendan McCullum. He's going for it. He's going. Oh, he's taking it a beauty. Oh, so that puts a halt to proceedings. The white party is over and done with. And Here's Tim Sowley. Yes. That'll be 50 for Hussey. Yeah. Yeah, back-to-back -back 50s for Mike Hussey, a very important one as well. That's through, and that's four. Oh, Hussey, there he goes. Gets him again, gets him straight, picks the field around, takes it, yes, well done. That's Nathan McCullum. You can't keep the McCullums out of the field today. So. Edgy. Yeah, it's hard to protect that. That'll be four. Oh, Johnson plays the lap. Plays it absolutely brilliantly. And over. Gets it through. That's towards the short one. Yeah, no chance. No chance for the fielder out there. Well bowled, Daryl Tuffy. There could be a run out on. Does he get back? Yeah, this will be a run out. Hopes will go. Well, it was never on the run anyway. So hopes will be run out final ball of the innings. Australia will make 273 for seven. They were made to work the whole way through it. And the Black Caps, I feel, will be relatively happy with that. Hopes out for 29. New Zealand's reply. Right on the money. And I suppose uh, one other thing... McCullum's away. Beautiful cover drive. Oh, well. Gone for six, I'm sure. Yeah, it's a beauty. On the terraces. Just too much width from Dougie Bollinger. Oh, McCullum is just so quick fire. Dougie Bollinger will probably think that wasn't that bad a ball. And he might be right. Oh, this will go into the stand for six, I'm sure. That did. That was too short. So McCullum is here to play, and they might be doing some fetching. It's 22 for none. Just over the top. And I'd say it's perfectly timed by Brennan McCullum, but he missed out the first two. Edge! Oh, man, what a catch! Brad Haddon! That was fair screaming. A brilliant reply. Johnson's loving every second of this. And they're not. Salute, beauty. Oh, he's finally got one in the middle, Peter Ingram, and he's got to get one bounce for. Just in the right slot for him, and the wrists come into play. Magnificent. Straight through the man at short cover, who was strategically placed, but just couldn't react in time. It's gone fine. And that'll be four. Good pace. And all Ingram had to do was catch up with it. Oh, is that an inside edge as well or not? No, it's not, says Rudy. Peter Ingram has tried to whip it to the leg side once too often. And Rudy Kitson says that is going on to hit. And I think he's probably right as long as there's no inside edge. Neil Broom, it's a new bat. And there's another big one. Will Rudy give two in a row? Yes, he will. Harris has got two. Oh, that's a wild one. Absolute wild one. So Mitchell Johnson, <laughs> he tries to start with a bumper and gets it wrong. On the leg side, that'll be four more. Styrus turns it away. So Johnson striving for something, just getting it a little wrong. Top this time and away for four more. Oh, that is a cracking shot. Down the ground for six, Martin to What a lovely shot. The bat's right from the word go. And so is that. Oh, it's in the air, but it's straight and hit hard.
Really good shot to finish off the over. 78 for four. Oh, that's pulled away. It's hit hard. One bounce. Picked up the slow ball and the length. What am I doing? Oh, there's an edge. Yes, it is. That's a very big wicket for the Australians. And as Shane Watson so often does, gets the breakthrough early in his spell. Lower and lower. Oh, that's a good shot. How well has that been timed? Just behind point. Races away. 100 up for New Zealand. Oh, it's cut away. What about power there? Short man, good square of the wicket. Go hard at, at the end oh, of the no. innings. Oh, no. Oh, Cyrus is gone. He's chipped one off Horowitz straight to Ponting him in wicket. And the good innings of Scotty Cyrus has come to an end. Thought it might have just slid onto the bat. Oh, and there's a big shot. He's off the mark with a boundary, the skipper. Oh, down the track. Goes straight. Has he got it well enough? Well, it's skidded past Watson. Well, Shane Watson thought he had it covered at land and skidded. Here he goes again. Away to the leg side. That's six. He certainly hasn't given up for Tory. Oh, there's an edge. Is it going to be four? Yes, it is. Watson can't get to it. This has gone straight up. How far though? Has it gone back far enough? I don't think so. No, it hasn't. A yard shy, and Dougie Bollinger has gone under a steepler and held onto it safely. Oh, Tory's got beautiful timing there. How about that for a shot? <laughs> he said, "Here's my stumps. If you can hit him, good luck." Oh, you might have got that well, Tuffy. Might have got it really well. 93 for seven. Oh, yes, that'll do. You can't set a field there. You cannot put a man there any day of the week. He'll do nicely. Maybe a boundary. Might even do better. Three of those in the over. That's a monster 16. 209 for seven. Yes, at the end of the over. Oh, yeah, he is a genius, Ponting. He has pulled the right rein, and Daryl Tuffy has given them that opportunity. Oh, the Tory has done it again. Oh, goodness me. That's a magnificent shot. Bond gets it away. Has he found a gap? A good gap. He has. Well, that is a bonus. Straight. Good enough, too, straight enough and hard enough. That's 50 for Daniel Vittori, and what a 50 it's been. 52 from 34 deliveries. That's over. Hi, that's to the short boundary, and it's too short. Oh, it's over the top. Oh, gone through, and what a cracker. He's been trying that for some time, Mitchell Johnson. He's got one through. Right, and he hits it, but sorry, and he hits it for four. That's where I think. And Vittori gets it over the top. This will run away for four more. Oh, he's bowled him. That's it. He's got him. Australia have won it. Harris has held his nerve, and finally, they've got one round the back of Daniel Vittori's legs.